Welcome back to the Wizards Forum 2023. I'm now delighted to be joined by Phyllis Bachman Farrell, who is with the Global Coalition on Aging. Hello. Hi, thanks for having me. So tell me, what brings you to this forum? So I am supporting the Global Coalition on Aging, and I'm really excited to be here because we work and with a lot of multilateral agencies, but to see WISIS come in with ITU and actually look at technology for the aging to help our populations as we have a global aging population, that's re the reason we're here. I mean, we keep hearing about the digital divide with, you know, in the poor South, we hear about it, about young women in particular, but I mean, the elderly, even in developed countries, face issues as well, right? Absolutely. But technology has a wonderful opportunity both to bridge the digital divide around access to technology, but also to be used in healthcare settings to help our aging population get better care. And this is something that's going to come uh, as the populations get older and older, we have to deal with this. It's actually the success of modern medicine. Our populations are aging because we've taken better care of ourselves with other communicable and non-communicable disease. So now we have to find a way to make sure that technology helps us age the way we all want to, which is living a longer, healthier, happier life. So finally, what would you like to, in your best hopes take away from the summit? Well, we're here because we're excited about multilateral agencies putting technology and aging at the top of their agenda. So here, it would be successful if the technological companies that are here looked at aging within the lens of the design of their product. How can they help make sure that we support people living longer, healthier, happier lives? Fidis Bachman-Ferrell from the Global Coalition on Aging, thanks very much.